Hello, hello, and good day, hello. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time is um, if you are slow gear in your Fuglander Vitesa is uh, not working proper, and um, and you want to to figure it out and fix it yourself. So this is the film for you. Have a look. Now, <clears throat> this is nice old camera with a really, really long um, winder stick, uh, which is, <laughs> yeah, not very normal, but uh, that's the design of this uh, old camera, which is, uh, yeah. <laughs> interesting well the problem with the with the with this camera and many old cameras is actually the sticky slow gear <clears throat> and uh, most of the time it's simply just gummed up with the old oils oil grease or whatever but uh, in this case it's different well if I put the um, the uh, exposure ring until something 500 and wind the camera or cock the shutter uh, it will fire as it should but if I <clears throat> go a lot lower than something 15 second uh, and Cut the shutter again, so it's almost the same as the uh, 500 or something, <coughs> 120 uh, a second, but um, and it's almost the same if I go to something like one second, as you can see here. And cut the shutter and uh, fire. Well, not any big difference, but um, it's actually not that hard to fix if you have some tools, which is a 1.6 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and you have a small tweezer which will be very handy. You have a 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver. This is also very handy in this case. And um, yeah, that's it actually. We also need some loop. Uh, this is Atlantic um, oil for sewing machines oil, the very, very thin one and a needle I put on so it's easy to apply the uh, the oil on the axle end. Um, so let's jump into it. The front lens group is just one piece, I mean one assembly, so it's easy to unscrew. <clears throat> one can use if you take a good grip on he and that but you could also have those sticky cone which is uh, very very handy when working with the cameras I would guess this one would fit over here and I just get a good grip the rubber is very sticky so uh, and then press so it's easy to actually unscrew it without any problem. So this is it. <clears throat> and that actually, <laughs> nothing more than that <clears throat> about lenses. Well, <clears throat> there is a small screw here. It's not a set screw. It's more just a small flathead screw. <clears throat> and then I use the 1.2 millimeter screwdriver to unscrew it fully 
and uh, take care of it it's tiny so it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver which you can see here it will be very easy to <coughs> put the screw on again now there is a retaining ring that that should be unscrewed uh, counterclockwise there are plenty of holes here oh, sorry there are plenty of holes here actually three but there are much more <coughs> holes to screw the small screw in so that's it it have to be it have to sit correct because one one side have a kind of edge or something that is uh, face towards the camera the other side is flat all the way around so maybe you can see the difference here <clears throat> this side here should face like this and into the camera now <clears throat> There is um, another ring, you can see all the holes in here, which is actually, there is a thread in every one of those. And that fits for the small screw. <clears throat> and uh, one could actually just lift the ring out. And that way, using the tweezer, it looks like this. <clears throat> now then we are almost in the shutter <clears throat> and um, you can see there is a plate here all the way around it's very normal for the Synco Compur shutter and many other shutters but uh, most of the Synco Compur has this set up there is if I hold on with something, just to press the plate down, and then I can lift up the the uh, the exposure. No, not the exposure, but yeah, it's part of the exposure ring. <coughs> uh, I mean, connection to the exposure plate here. But the, there's also the aperture here. Which I can move <clears throat> and it's not connected to the uh, exposure wheel <clears throat> all those numbers are just the the aperture but <clears throat> so when, when putting no <laughs> when taking off the plate here I can lift it up gently and um, yeah we can also just see how it actually works <clears throat> when putting things in place just so you know where things have to sit correct okay just have to so <clears throat> now if I set the exposure wheel like this and it will say the uh, two pins here one there and there and it, it's uh, when so it is uh, so it looks when the shutter exposure is set to one fun one five hundred and <clears throat> if I go all the way up to the other end it will be something there so the pin is here there's another pin here but this pin is set on B so it, if it look when you look at it now the camera is set to B and the other one was 500 so it would be something like there now 
setting the exposure as one second it should be something there so this pin is very <coughs> I mean it's uh, it's going into this place here maybe I can get closer yes so when the so when X I mean when cut the shutter as you can see here the pin will go to yeah if it goes there it should be on one second so if I sh <coughs> fire the shutter <coughs> it should be something like one second but it isn't not at all so uh, that's why we have to go deeper into the shutter so lifting up the plate here by grip with the tweezer just lift gently and uh, it will come off one <coughs> maybe should um, put a screwdriver in here or use a finger and draw gently in the um, in this pin for the uh, for the uh, aperture or oh, one could maybe just put it up there I don't know <coughs> maybe it's better but uh, this one has to to be free I, maybe I could use my tweezer here and lift it up or maybe use another tweezer <laughs> very handy with two or three of them so it's easier to for you to see now <clears throat> this is a plate um, and it can only sit in one way so um, but the problem is when we go deeper into the camera is <clears throat> Trying to get over the um, slow gear is over here this part over here and therefore I need to take out the <coughs> cocking plate or whatever it is because the gear the see this one here if I press the, the cocking arm it will uh, see it will move and I need to press this down so and it will go almost all the way back but only almost so this is how it looks when the shutter is cut and therefore I can actually uh, press the shutter and things will will uh, get back to really released relaxed <laughs> shutter so if I press there it would go like this now the camera is actually set on B <clears throat> because there's no exposure uh, settings there's only one setting at the moment so uh, what I'm gonna do is I take the ring here which is also connected to the uh, cocking arm so therefore <clears throat> Therefore, I will uh, take out the gear here. It's relaxed at the moment. So I can just take this wheel out. Remember how it's set in because this arm here, this arm here, maybe it's better to show here, um, the tiny arm, can the camera focus? Yeah. The tiny arm here 
this arm here, this arm here, will press on the on this here, and it will uh, it will cut the shutter. So uh, I dig deeper in and take out the the tiny arm here. <coughs> It will lift up here it's just connected as you can see there and uh, then I can lift up this arm well there is a small issue because there is a spring here a hair spring that uh, I need to I need to lift up this part here and I will show you how the spring, this spring here, this one, maybe you can see it, hopefully. But this, the end of the spring will uh, attach or touching this arm here. Maybe it's easier to see. There, this arm. So, um, <clears throat> it has to sit on the correct side of this. Oh, come on. Do you mind? Little spring. <clears throat> so. So, the little spring here this one has to sit on the on this side of the uh, of this axle or whatever it is it's called and then it, it sits correct <clears throat> now the other the end of the uh, cocking spring thingy is uh, attached to here this axle and this one only have to lift up I could just let it stay there but uh, for now I will just lift it up and it's free and it sits there now <clears throat> Now we are actually free to to <clears throat> take out the slow gear, which sit by two screws, one there and the other one over here. So, <clears throat> and I just used my um, <clears throat> one point six millimeter screwdriver here, and just loosen the screw over here when uh, with a uh, with a 1.6 millimeter screwdriver and then I use the 1.2 millimeter screwdriver to uh, unscrew it fully now the um, the actual pro problem with this slow gear was not uh, old oil or sticky oil or something no it was this arm here the spring that uh, oh sorry the spring here for this arm was falling out of place there so uh, <clears throat> I could take out the slow gear and put it in place but well maybe I should do it just to show how it's done it's not that hard so uh, I will do so do some measure here with the caliber tool to measure how the distance between the inside here 
and the slow gear side here. So uh, <clears throat> if your one second is correct, but one can also do the adjustment later. But okay, I take it out just to show you. It's a long screw. Just let it stay there and unscrew this one. Now, before doing so, be sure that this uh, part here sit very correct. It has to sit on this side of this pin here, not on this side. So when looking down to it, it has to sit on the left side of the, uh, oh come on, focus, has to sit there to the left of this uh, part here. If you sit on the, on the right side, it's not possible to cock the shutter. So it is. So, <clears throat> uh, take out the slow gear. That's a small screw. And then we take the other one. It's the longer screw. Now, <coughs> sorry. Now it's time to take out the slow gear. And uh, remember, this side here has to be on this side here, not on the other side. Just so you know. You see, the slow gear is not working proper because if you can press on it like I do now and release it, it should, it should go very slow back. But it doesn't. So what's actually happened here? It will be very difficult to press here uh, but I could just press on this one and do the movement of the shutter. I mean, <laughs> the slow gear, of course. But what I found out was actually the more simple solution. You see, this arm here can just move freely and it shouldn't do that. But because of the small spring here, this small spring has to sit on the other side of the, it will say, there. So by using a small, or a thin tweezer, sharp pointy tweezer, it's actually quite easy to To move the small spring. Oh, come on. And to the other side of there. So. <coughs> now you can see it sits actually correct. And. Uh, it's uh, it will return. Because of the spring sits correct. So now. If I press on this one, it will be very hard to move and the gear will go back to its position like it should. There's nothing wrong with this uh, slow gear. <coughs> so I can actually just put it back into the camera, the shutter, and remember as I said, the the um, this part over here has to go on this side 
of the so it shouldn't sit like oh come on it shouldn't sit uh, if it's position wrong it will sit sit like that so uh, if we do it correct <clears throat> one need to push on the um, I mean you can press on the small arm here and then move this part so it sits in correct place as it will say right now so now the slow gear is in correct position and I can put in this long screw <coughs> And after that, the, the short screw, which is the one you need to adjust the, uh, the, uh, correct position. I could also just do like this, loosen it and put in a screwdriver. It will, I think it will be something like there. And, uh, uh, maybe it's a little too much and uh, so thing like there I would guess maybe it's a little too short distance between here but um, <clears throat> let's see how it works maybe it's okay maybe it's not okay And then put in the um, the slow the, <laughs> the small screw. One could push on this one, and maybe it will be easier. Sometimes it's it can be a little tricky to put in those small screws, and sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's a little more easy to loosen the the long screw a little because uh, then things are more free to move. But we give it another go. Something like there. So it's there. <clears throat> now, then I just uh, need to move this incorrect. Oh, I need to change battery on my camera, on my video camera. So I guess, I would guess it's something like there. This can move as it should. So I will be back in a moment with another battery. So it is. So that was a battery change. I <coughs> need that. Well, this is how it looks. And one yours uh, should look like this. Remember how this is set, it should move like this when it's correct and not on the other side here. So uh, things actually look like it should work. Oh. 
nothing serious happened. <coughs> it's uh, not plastic. <coughs> well, when we are in the, um, I think I will do the, the show how to take out the uh, the uh, self timer. If one have problem with that. So uh, we'll do so. There's only one screw. That's it. It works when uh, moving the the uh, self timer under here. It will um, something like that. See, so it shift between not self timer and self timer. But uh, to take it out, there's only one screw. This one here. It's uh, normal for many synchro compure shutters. There's a long screw. And then I can just take out the slow, I mean the self timer. Something like that. I guess it will work. Uh, well, sometimes they are really, really sticky and need to be um, clean it proper. So when when it works correct, one can actually but just pull and this and press on this arm here, and then the slow gear will work as it should. So it's actually working proper. And then I can do it again. Just draw by holding in one end, just draw it and then release when press on this arm. Yeah, you can see maybe it's a little sticky, not really. I press on it, <laughs> but um, Uh, maybe maybe it needs some cleaning so uh, I will just do so put in into a small container and add some 99% isopropyl alcohol just a little so that's it and why I only do cleaning the um, the self timer is because I already have cleaned the uh, the slow gear, so uh, this one also needed. And uh, now I think it will work much better. Yeah, you simply just need some cleaning. Is more alive. Well, I press on my gloves on it, and uh, of course, it could, but it's more alive than it was. So, give it another bath. <laughs> And it works pretty good. So we maybe can see on the other side how it it's not easy with gloves on. But I took the gloves on because the camera stinks of old shed or basement. So um, <laughs> therefore 
So it's actually ready to to be lubed with some sewing machine oil. I just need some paper. And uh, just blow some Now, that's much better. Something I almost knew. Now, to lube it, uh, we only I only lube with a tiny drop on each axle end. Only. There is no need to lube the um, the gear teeth. Because it's not the it's not the the problem with the gear teeth, and uh, this axle end here. So that was actually that, and then we give it some movement. It will not run faster than this one. Oh yeah, I press on the on the gear wheel teeth. <laughs> it's much better. So it's actually ready to be put back into the shutter. Just do some cleaning of the new oil. So, and then return to the shutter itself. Now one can pull the arm here a little. It will make it a little easier to uh, get it in to the shutter like this, and then put it back into here. Are here. So there's one screw here, this one, and it has to go into this hole here when it uh, set correct. And take care of not bending this arm. can be a little tricky. So now it sits where it should sit. And then the tiny long screw can be screwed in again. Sometimes it's not easy to to work as uh, with camera on because the camera has to see what I'm doing, and uh, <clears throat> sometimes it's not easy. Now, time to set things back in place again. 
There's also one thing here. When pulling the uh, self-timer here, um, it's something like that. This uh, this pin here. As you can see, when I move it, it has to sit like that. Now, time to put in the the cooking gear, which has to sit like. No, we do the cooking ring first because the spring. Oh, I'm low in memory. Ah, shit. Ah, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we continue. Now, the shutter cogging ring, uh, I will put in. There's not no problem with that. But uh, one end need to be put in over the actual end, or the whatever you call it. A um, sits there. Something like there. So you see, it sits there in this arm. And so I will just put it over the, the middle and um, get it into place. It can be a little annoying. like maybe it's better with a bigger piece. and it has to go over the the, the axle here with the uh, Cocking from the cocking pin, there is not in place. <clears throat> so actually, it sits correct now. So one, almost. Mm -hmm. So, and then press on it here then move the so now then it sits correct and I can move this and uh, of the shutter I mean yeah that was the slow gear <coughs> now Then I can put in the uh, this part here. I don't know the name actually, but uh, remember the very tiny hair spring has to sit correct. This spring here. I know it's difficult to see, but this spring here has to sit on this side of this uh, pole or axle. So when putting it in, want to need to draw a little, put the thing over, hopefully <laughs> it will work. And uh, the, well, not first lock, but uh, Hope it will be better. <laughs> but next time, if it's possible, um, something like 
Okay, do you mind? So now it sits correct, and then one can release this on. Uh, it has to sit on the other side. So moving this there and down. See? This is how it looks when it's correct. And one can actually not press the shutter at the moment because it's not proper uh, cocked. So then I put the, the last part in and uh, remember how it sits because it has to sit like something like there and uh, has to sit like this when it's correct so the pin that actually draw this part here has to be on the in this position on the left side of this on this uh, part here so when uh, cock the shutter uh, <clears throat> it will be something like if it's possible to show it so when cock the shutter it will be like that and it will be released relax <laughs> and then if I press the shutter button it will be something like okay the <clears throat> the slow gear is doing some so let's put in the exposure ring and see how it actually turned out to be okay or not hopefully okay and if not we'll just do some adjustment so if I put it through something it's on B and then it should be there See there. <clears throat> so it should be something like one second. Stop. It's actually very good. I mean, not bad. <laughs> it's. I think it's fine. And the other uh, settings should be also very okay yeah so it's actually fine there was something fragment uh, I saw here I don't know where it comes from It shouldn't be there. Not in my camera. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, I think it's okay for now. So, yeah, that's actually that. So, uh, then we can just put things back in again. It will say like this. Uh, 
and then next ring it can only sit one way because there is a um, there's a small hole here and it engages with the pin here so it cannot be faced upside down or other different settings it just sit there and then the retaining ring which was face not correct yes it was and uh, so we just go to the last part it will be something like there it doesn't have to be too stiff when moving the uh, exposure ring or either it hasn't does it doesn't have to be too loose so um, the adjustment for that will just be you move the retaining ring here from one hole to another hole in those three but this one is okay so that's it and then the tiny screw here I'll go in can be sometimes a little annoying to get the screw correct then because it is so small. Ta. Do you mind little screw? Hmm? Okay, here we are. Just gently tighten it. And then the front lens screw goes in. And then we can uh, just oh, oh, cone, tighten the lens again. So now the camera is actually back to life, amazingly. So pop the shutter and yeah, perfect. And the other. the faster something like 60 yeah so that was actually all for now and I uh, hope you enjoy the content and can use the information to fix your camera so that's all for now bye bye